So it starts on the six hole below. And it hits that three times. So it goes six blow, six blow, six blow, five blow, six blow, six draw, seven draw, seven blow, sorry. And you want to be able to get these clean. I'm doing this using the pucker method first, and then we're going to talk about how to tongue block this. But yeah, try to just get the notes down, because this is the... This is the melody, and then we'll add all the all the flair later. Um, okay, so that's the first part. Okay, and then that uh, the the end of that line goes seven blow, eight draw, seven blow, six draw, six blow. Okay, uh, so let's play that whole thing, and I'll I'll count it in, and let's just play it slowly. Ready, one, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, the the sec the second line of this song, uh, you can it kind of starts it walks up to the seven hole blow from the six hole draw, so you can throw that six hole draw in there if you want. Okay, and then the next the, the this line starts off with going the seven hole blow to the eight hole draw and going back and forth. And so, and, and if you listen real closely, Doc throws a lot of grace notes in, uh, which a grace note is just sort of a lead-in note that is not, it's not uh, really accented, but it's just you hit it as you're going into the next note, just to give it a little, make it a little more smooth, I guess, I don't know. Uh, so here there's the opportunity for, A, that six-hole draw, You can also throw in that seven hole draw as you're going up to the eight hole draw. Do you hear it in there? So yeah, and it's also totally fine to just hit seven blow eight draw. Okay, and then the uh, this line ends. So after it goes, so it goes, it goes back to the seven hole blow, then it goes eight blow, eight draw, seven blow. Okay. And then it goes six blow, six draw. Seven blow, seven blow, six draw, six blow. So we're sticking to all the notes in an in an A a uh, in an A major pentatonic scale. So that's uh, when you're playing uh, any song in A major. You can you can remember that all these because this this whole song consists of six notes, right? Six blow, six draw, seven blow, eight draw, eight blow, and a little bit of seven draw. But it's really just five notes that you're hitting this whole song. So, uh, so anyways, let's, uh, let's try to play that whole line uh, slowly, and then we'll play it a little bit quicker. And then we're going to try to play that whole, both the first and the second line together. And then we'll go, and then we'll go talk about how the song ends. Okay. <clears throat> Try the second line. Four.
the so at the at the beginning you know doc plays the harmonica break three or four times on the recording and each time's a little different but we're just uh thinking about the intro one right now and, uh, and then you can figure out the rest uh, for yourself just by listening um so the so the second time through that he plays it it's exactly the same until it gets to the end of the second line so let's just jump to that second line there So instead of uh, going, so instead of going down to the six hole draw, after it goes, instead of going to the six hole draw like it does the first time, it, it hangs on that seven hole blow. And then it ends it that way, with the eight eight draw, seven blow, six draw, six blow. So the first, so uh, so let's play that whole thing through with the second Four, ending. Two, three. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Here's the whole song at about what Doc plays it at. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, so now we can play the whole melody. So now how do you get the the fun tongue blocking stuff in there? Because that's really what, uh, that's really uh, makes this sound cool. And uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to play this single note melody cleanly out of whatever side of the mouth that you're playing that melody with. If you're, if you're holding the harmonica upside down, you might be playing it out of the left side of your mouth. Uh, I play it out of the right side of my mouth. So I would just, so if I was just learning this, I would start off by playing just the melody out of the right side. Okay, and then uh, a good, so and so and then uh, after you get that, try to work on doing the octave, on on trying to get those octaves. So you'll hear that on that first on that six hole draw. If you try to play an octave, it's not an octave. So the so the first octave would be. Um, three blow and six blow, right? And those are both an E. But if you do that on the the way the harmonica is set up, where the notes are, that three hole draw is actually a uh, let's see, <laughs> a G sharp. Whereas when we're hitting that six hole draw, it's an F sharp. So it's giving you a, a dominance, an interval that's not an octave, <laughs> which is fine. It doesn't it doesn't sound terrible. But you can also move the left side of your mouth up to hit that four hole draw with the six hole draw. And that way it gives you a fifth. So that's another option. 
It's fine if you just if you just hit the three draw and the three and the six draw together. Doesn't sound terrible, but okay. So yeah, and um, so then it's uh, when we go up to the seven hole blow. The octave is on the four hole blow. So the so that octave would be four hole blow and seven hole blow. But then when we go up to the eight hole draw, the octave is then on the four hole draw. So we have to increase the number of holes that we're blocking. So there's a good thing to practice there because those are all all of those I'm hitting the out of the left side of my mouth is just staying on the four hole. And each time blocking in, in one more amount of holes, right? So on the first one, it's the four hole draw and the six hole draw. On the second one, it's the four hole blow and the seven hole blow. And then the third one, it's the four hole draw and the eight hole draw. So each, so you're moving your the right side of your mouth one hole up each time and one hole back each time. So that's that's one thing you can practice there, and uh, and then when you play it, you know, try to get you want those to sound just as clean as you as can be. So it's good to just like practice little things like that break it down <clears throat> okay and uh and on this and uh you can still hit these grace notes the seven hole draw uh you just have to practice that getting that slide with uh while you're tongue blocking while keeping the left side of your mouth stationary Okay, and the uh, and once you kind of figure out how to tongue block, uh, one one really fun thing to do while tongue blocking, and you'll hear Doc does it on this song, is to use uh, the tongue flap to create uh, a little more of a rhythm along with the melody that you're playing, and uh, and one great way to practice this, along with listening to Doc and and all the great players uh, and listening to to where they're flapping. Uh, one thing that's really helpful is just to practice playing a steady flap rhythm w with a metronome. And, and so on this one, like, what you would do is set up the metronome pretty slow, and then you'd flap on the, on the off beats. So it'd be like two, three, four, slap, 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 slap. So you're playing the melody at the same time, so Hopefully it's uh, hopefully this comes out good. I'll try to play it. So yeah, that it uh that's pretty hard. Uh, it, that's a really good workout uh, to just to get a. I mean, it makes you understand the melody better, and it also really uh, gets you involved with this rhythm and gets you in touch with the with it. So that's a good exercise to do. And um, yeah, and then once you once you're able to do that, uh, then you, you know then you can throw in the the flaps as you please. And yeah, listen to do how Doc does it because he's a uh, you know, great source of, uh, of good harmonica technique and good, uh, just good harmonica playing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, keep on harping if you'd like to, um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my uh, my Venmo information below if you want to leave a tip for this lesson. That'd be you know I'd be grateful. Also, if you'd like to take Skype lessons, my email is I'll also put below, and you can email me, and we'll set something up. And um, and other than that, I hope you enjoy the lesson. Hope it helps. If you have any recommendations for future lessons or stuff you want to talk about, just uh, email me, or you can find me on Facebook as well. And uh, my uh, the my music page is called Jake Groves Blows. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, give me a like on there. There's plenty of, uh, fun harmonica stuff that I post on there as well. Alrighty, keep on harping.